Hello everybody, my name is Jeb, and welcome back to Gravity Well. Now, uh, I would like to mention that I've made a goof, okay? I've done a little oopsie poopsie. Um, you can probably hear the music in the background. That means I did a stupid. So, I actually recorded this episode already. But I didn't have my mic on. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, uh, it's great. Although, last recording, I didn't really do that much. I do have the footage still, so I'm just gonna put it over this, just to kind of recap what I did in that recording. Okay, so most of the last recording was just me mining. A lot of mining. Like, way too much mining. So I wasn't recording much anyways. But I did more testing of the propeller that we were building. And even though I increased the linear speed cap, the maximum speed you can reach while traveling in a straight line, apparently that doesn't change the rotational speed cap that Space Engineers has, which is 60 RPM. You can't rotate anything faster than that. So the prop that we built was stuck at 60 RPM. Also it, it never took flight. I made the blades longer. And it just never worked. Um, I got them to like 20 meters long, I think. I'm not entirely sure. So yeah, the prop was not successful and I ended up scrapping it and just processing it for parts. I decided to change my course of action last time and I decided I need more resources faster. What's the perfect way to do that? build a drill rig, of course, or just build a mining ship, or mining rover, actually. But that all takes a lot of resources, and a drilling rig is surprisingly inexpensive and mostly automatic, so I decided to go with that option. So, if I just, whoops, <laughs> I forgot I was in my spectator cam. If I just pop out of my seat here and head outside, I built this bad boy last time. Uh, this is why I was mining for several hours. Uh, this drill head that is now deep in the... Oh! Okay. That drill head down there actually exploded once, which was pretty funny. Let me turn that drill off. There. Because the pistons aren't moving right now. I just stopped it because I think the inventory on the base is full. Oh yeah, this is like getting almost full. The refinery's doing work. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, we've got so much done. Oh, the poor survival kit in the refinery. <laughs> they have to do so much work now. Oh boy. This is just what we're doing right now. We're pretty much just drinking the earth. We're going to process it into materials, and then we're going to decide what we do from there. But actually, I do have a bit of a plan. So, right now, we need to find Cobalt. Because without Cobalt, we are not going to be able to do much. I mean, come on, we, we want to get to space, right? We need Cobalt for that. And Cobalt is probably not going to be anywhere in this on this part of Solona, which is actually called the Eye. I was looking at the Steam Workshop page earlier. This part of Salona is called the Eye, so this is just what I'm going to refer to this place as now. So in order to get out of the Eye, we would have to fly up into the mountains, and then we can explore the rest of Salona. Or, we fly up there ourselves, and build a rover up there. We're pretty much just going to cheat the whole problem of getting up there with a rover, by just building the rover at the top immediately. So in order to do that, we're going to have to have some kind of platform up there that we can work on, because the environment up there isn't exactly hospitable. We can't breathe up there. The atmosphere is way too thin. So we're going to need to build some kind of launching station that can process either oxygen from the atmosphere or the ice that's up there, which is bound to full tell. We can also have wind turbines up there, because wind turbines apparently work better at higher altitudes, as I learned from this video that I'm now placing in the top left. Hint, hint, editor me. 
power is going to be much better up there with wind turbines, and plus, we don't have the luxury of a large battery bank immediately. So solar is not going to be the best option, and that should be all we need. Pretty much just the Shack 2 electric boogaloo. So whenever we build that, that will be a perfect place to build our rover, because then we can just fly up there with all the parts we need. Or just make the parts on site as well, and just build up there. I have a feeling that's going to give us a massive jump start. Right now, our current course of action is to just get a bunch of resources with this drill. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to just get enough resources to build more drill heads and then just make the hole bigger. So let's actually look at what we've got so far. Oh, wait. Oh, it's done? Whoa, it's done. <laughs> oh, boy. All right. Oh, look at this. Wait, hold on. Are we actually in the thousands? Yo. Awesome. All right. We're, we're getting somewhere. We are really getting somewhere. Okay. So, need another drill head. I should really put these vertical ones in a group, shouldn't I? I swear I'm a competent engineer. Down distance. Let's just reverse these. Also, yeah, now there's this wind dial for some reason. I don't know why it's here, but um, yeah, it's probably a thing with the aerodynamic physics mod. I actually like the idea of having to deal with the wind, so I'm going to leave this turned on. Come on. There you go. Ooh. Ooh, okay, got to be really careful. There we go, there should be plenty of space to work with. Let's also do it on this side. My jetpack feels weaker, I don't know why. I didn't change anything. It just kind of happened. stopped my game for a second. Man. Yeah, this feels alright. Let's group up all the drills. Drills. And... This ends. Might need to increase the velocity. Say three. Seven, even. Yeah, that feels better. And now we're talking. Industry is booming, ladies and gentlemen. I just want to babysit this for just a second, just to make sure it doesn't blow up like last time. But no, it seems to be working. Working quite well at that. Oh yeah, look at that. I'd say this is a marvelous success. Ah, don't have to worry about mining ever again. Thank God. <laughs> Look at this thing. I've made like a room under the shack. I could probably use this for something, honestly. Like I could put like a stairway here. Right, put some doors. Maybe, ooh, this could be like a refinery area down here sometime. Yeah. 
Let's just reverse these. Turn this off. And turn this off. There we go. Should probably set up like a timer or something so I can just do that whole thing automatically. Now we're absolutely filled to the brim. I'm very glad I invested in this. This was absolutely necessary. I, I can't put anything else in here. <laughs> Damn. And now that we have so many resources, let me just... the assembler can do so much more stuff. Alright, so. First things first, I want to do a little bit of scouting up there. So I think what I'm going to do is make more bottles. You're thirsty. Oh no. Let's collect some ice. That's right, folks. We're collecting ice today. Whoop. Up, up and away. We're going over there this time. It's much lower. Woo. Fuel critical. Holy shit. Oh my god. Why am I so heavy? What the fuck? The jetpack was not performing this badly. Dude, it just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Is it something with real orbits? Did the config get screwed up or something? Actually, hold on. I think I'm I'm, I'm going to I'm going to check something real quick. Cuz I've also just noticed, yeah. Hold on. Let me, let me check something. Ah, yeah, yeah. This did get messed up. I had a feeling. <laughs> oh no. All right, so I'm back. Turns out, yeah, uh, the config settings that I changed for some of my mods were incorrect. So in the real orbits config, there's a setting you can change for the player's gravity that they experience. Basically, what that does is it takes the gravity that you're actually experiencing in-game and it multiplies it by a number. In vanilla, that number is two. So the player always feels twice the gravity of the actual environment. Real orbits can change that. So I set it to one so that I could experience microgravity in orbit above a planet. But for some reason, and I think this is because I was messing with my save file and changing some settings between episodes, uh, the config actually changed, reverted back to a gravity multiplier of two. So I changed that, and I also reset the maximum speed limit, so now we can move it at seven and a half kilometers a second again. And now, things are feeling much better. This is what you would expect from 0.64 Gs. Oh, fuck. Ah, that was a stupid idea. <laughs> Surprised I didn't die from that, though. 45 meter per second impact to a solid surface? That should kill you. Like, it really should. I believe I'm a superhuman. Alright, so now we've got stuff. That That is not organic, that is a rock. Yeah, time to explore a bit. We're just gonna go up there and find a good spot to start a little outpost. 
I'm also gonna have my drill out just in case I find ore. Because if I find cobalt up here like immediately, that will be amazing. I might have gone a bit too fast. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's ore around here. Actually, the ice is kind of discolored. Doesn't even tell me that this is ice. Any ores? No cobalt. Oh, wait, this is an ore. What are you? Gold? Okay, sure. I mean, gold is gold. There's another patch over here. Man, if I just get lucky and this is cobalt, I swear. Oh, this is, ooh, magnesium. This is important. Just in case we have to fight those guys, you know? What is this? Really, are you not gonna tell me? Guess I'll just have to dig in. I have a feeling I'm getting scammed. I'll, I'll come back to this one. Okay. Spots like these are pretty good for building, honestly. Yeah, we can do terrain testing over there if we want, yeah. I honestly feel like maybe here could be a good spot. Um, okay, we should go. We should we should really go. Running out of oxygen. It's not a very fun thing to do. Ooh, okay. Okay. So, mission success ish. Found a good spot. I wonder if I just bring more bottles. I'd be able to investigate more ore deposits around that area. I could do this the easy way, perhaps. <laughs> and not the fun, but challenging way. I could get instantaneous gratification, yes. Got a very slight headwind. Oh no, the headwind is more left wind now. Or right wind, because it's coming from the right. But it could also be left wind because it's going to the left. Oh, now it's now it's tailwind. There we go. Look at that, guys. Sprint jumping is totally viable. I swear. All right. Cool. Wow. It is already. It's already evening. First of all, let's throw out all this gravel. We don't need all of it. We'll leave it in the basement this organic either, really. Taking up most of the space in that cargo container. Compared to everything else at least. Wow, that that is that is a boulder. <laughs> okay. That's just there now. Oh. We're fine. Let me just make a timer and a button. Do I seriously not have interior place? Oh it's it, Stupid. The parts can't travel through small ports. God, why do I always forget? I have a fair few hours in this game, and I still forget that sometimes. So, what you're gonna do is you're going to reverse these pistons, toggle the drills, and Let's rename this rotor. You're going to toggle this. Now you just get a button. Wait. Oh, there's a small version of this? Yo! I didn't even know there was a small version of this. That's really cool. 
Unless this is a modded part somehow. In that case, um, that's kind of sad. Because honestly, this... I, 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 uh, we need more small grid variants of blocks. So we're not going to get any resources from this for a bit. It's got to get all the way back down there. Honestly, I should get like a proper refinery. I can actually probably build one now. There's a good spot for it. Probably here. Don't think this is connected to anything important. Let me check from the outside. Goes right under there. Yeah, it's just these two blocks. Oh, but it goes in the corner. Kinda don't like that. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll just hide it under here, maybe? Can't really do that on this side, though. I'd have to do it over here. Oh yeah, now it's getting real. <laughs> Industry, baby. Now the only problem that I can see with this is our power situation. We're purely using solar panels and batteries, which is not good enough for industry like this. I think setting up a wind farm will be our best course of action. Just maybe set it up off to the side over here somewhere, or maybe back this way. We're gonna have to do that at some point. Oh boy, I think we're gonna stop the mine for just a second. Everything's filling up. God, so much stone. I say we go out on another little excursion. The terrain's looking kind of funky. Oh, oh, oh. Or what do we got? <gasps> Yo, sweet. Okay, never mind. We don't need to build a rover at all. <laughs> we can skip straight to flight. Yes. Yes. So long. Oh no. Oh. Health low. Okay. Quite the lucky find there. Oh yeah, baby, it's cobalt time. Let's go. So, guess that future outpost is not necessary. Change our plans on that. Although, I feel like having something up in the mountains is still going to be helpful. Because we can launch rockets from up there. And plus, wouldn't that be a cool base location just right off the side of a cliff? I mean, like, come on. <laughs> come on, that's just too cool. Oh, look at that. Night is officially upon us. Ah, <sighs> This game has its moments. Honestly. So while those metal grids are being made, let's set up a little spot where we can build. Why am I moving? Odd. Why am I rotating? What? Subgrids, man, they're weird. Okay, so I think what I want to do first is make a mining vehicle, definitely. We're going to take it up to the Cobalt and just dig out a bunch of that, bring it back. And we can finally make use of that top connector there. So that's going to be nice. 
And then, I think what I might want to do is find a spot for a more permanent, much larger base. Because I kind of want to leave the shack here as a memento of like how we started. I like to do that with all of my Space Engineers games. I like to leave the first little outpost completely untouched before I leave. And I think I might want to go to the other side of the eye or up on the mountains. Because I feel like those would be much more advantageous locations for launching spacecraft and such. We could make another base on the river. The river would have a literal infinite ice supply, which is great, because we have infinite fuel. Though, I don't know if there are any resources over there, so we'd be pretty far from any potential mining sites. And we know where resources are over there, so I'm tempted to stay up there. So, let's build a simple mining ship. Should I be building this over the solar panel all right? Probably not. But I've already started, so... Yeah. I think I want to do an asymmetric design. I think I'm going to have batteries on this side. There's small ports here, so I want to see if I can take advantage of that. Maybe with a hydrogen engine? I think I'll just run pure battery power. Let's see what kind of cockpits I can get my grubby little hands on. Oh. Whoa. Yo. These look so cool. Oh my gosh, this mod must have been updated. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding me. I can make a fix-it factory cart. Oh man, gosh, I remember Satisfactory. I gotta play Satisfactory again. I would, I would love to maybe make some Satisfactory videos for this channel. Let me know if you guys would be interested in that, because that genuinely sounds like a lot of fun. Let's see what we can do here. Which cockpits look the most appealing for a mining vehicle? There's a hover bike cockpit. Oh my gosh, this thing looks so cute! It's so tiny! Oh my gosh! Wow! Whoa! These cockpits look amazing! <laughs> A surfboard. Awesome. So, I mean, this, this actually looks pretty good for what we're doing with it. I think I'll stick it, like, right there. So that is perfect. I want to weld this up. In fact, let's just weld up what we have so far. Just so I can plan around the ports a bit. What are you actually trying to make? Oh, are we out of stuff? See, you're doing cobalt. Let's put that in the other basic refinery. So this one will just focus on stone. Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh no. Water. I have no water. Okay, well, I'll drink the coffee. I don't care. Ah. Emergency drink. Oh, I should push the button. That's another thing that I need. I need more storage space. Oh, you know what I could do? I could have a large cargo container in the basement. Yeah. We're doing some composting, ladies and gentlemen. Breaking all this down, feeding it to the worms. Yeah. Alright. Dude, why is this thing so slippery? Oh, what the hell is this port? This is a really weird port. I don't know... What? Is this just a small port? Like... Oh, wait, it's probably just two ports side to side. 
kind of like on the back of a normal cockpit. So I feel I'll just pipe it directly into that. Yeah. Oh, and then I can pipe up the drills through the cockpit down here. Yeah. And you know what would be great, actually? I could hook up one of these somewhere. I think here would be a great spot. And actually, something to balance out the weight while we're docked would also be nice. So I think there. Hydrogen tanks. These might actually be useful as well. And we can place an air vent down here. Oh, what? What? What was hurting me? What? Ah. Oh. Hey. How, why am I taking damage? Ah! What? Ah! The fuck? So whenever I get near this? Ah! Is it when I'm near a subgrid? No? It's just when I'm near this. Fuck! I don't understand, bro. This is voodoo magic. I wasn't expecting to have to deal with voodoo magic. I was expecting to deal with practical problems, not supernatural ones. Clang has forsaken me. I'm cursed. I can't go near my creation. Bro, this whole grid got a restraining order. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna reload. I'm I'm actually just reloading the world. I have a feeling that was about <laughs> one man's magic is another man's engineering. Supernatural is a null word. Yeah, yeah, really. <laughs> what was I attacked by nano machines? Was somebody making the mother of all omelets? Shut the fuck up. All right, let's see. Is the floor lava? Ow, it still is. What the fuck? Man, remember how I said subgrids were wild earlier? Yeah. I wasn't talking about this. This is just... This is just detrimental. I'm so confused! Ow. Jeez, this is getting really annoying, honestly. Ow. 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 One strange problem after another. See, honestly, I have a feeling this place is cursed. So I should get away from it as soon as I can. <laughs> oh, this poor shack. Could it? Like, one of these mods wouldn't add static electricity and like AOE damage from unbuilt blocks, would it? Like that, that would be stupid. That would be unbelievably stupid. Let's just weld these up, see what happens. Yeah, okay, it's not working, it's not working, not working. Ow. Yeah, okay. I have no idea how to fix this one. This, uh... This is something I have no knowledge of. It's quite the strange phenomena. Spontaneous... Pain. Does it happen here? Ow, it does. Does it happen here still? Yes. Resource time. Now. Hmm. Oh. What? It's 
based on my helmet? Wait a minute. Hold on. I stand over here. I don't take damage. Ow. Okay. What? Huh? Okay. It's something to do with the oxygen. I know there's a bug where sometimes grids will retain a certain uh like a certain oxygen state for extended periods of time even when the oxygen around them changes so like if you stuck a spacecraft into a pressurized hangar and pressurized the hangar the spacecraft might still be enveloped in a vacuum i've already saved and reloaded though and that hasn't fixed it so well, I guess we're gonna have to wear our helmet for this. Oh, bunch more mortars, motors, mortars. Yes, we have to build a lot more mortars. Definitely. Yeah, welcome to medieval engineers, everybody. close the the fresh smell of new blocks is highly toxic apparently wow i have stuff to make motors very cringe oh yeah wow burns through stone quick 40 something tons gone just like that we should expand the drill like now a lot of waiting today. In the meantime, I might as well... Here, let's just collect all this trash. And find a spot. Yeah, there's a car container down there. So, like, that direction from the shack marker. Like, a couple paces. Okay. Like about here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, alright. Cargo access port there. Yeah, here we go. that to the list of things we need to make. Alright. Drill should be ready to work on. Get the lock tools. There. And there. I think I might go out by two this time. Oh, wait. Really do that on this side. Huh. Not any construction components. I, I just need iron. <laughs> that is just the thing I need right now. I'm gonna do some hand mining. Just a little bit of hand mining. No big deal. Just get things going. Man. If I could 
could find iron up there, that would be awesome. That's the next thing we should find. Fucking iron. You know what? I might as well do a little a little search right now. Um refill my suit. Let us go and explore a brand new world. My next trip really should be to the other side of the eye. I have not been there yet. Would definitely not be nice to know where the ores are over there. Oh. Critical. Wow, that was oddly convenient. Okay. Look at that. Don't even have to dig that far down for it. Tree. No. And in you go. In you go. Man, that is a view. Lots of thumbnail material today. And in you go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, beautiful. Mwah. I love it. should still function. He went one drill missing, but it's not gonna function well. Actually, you know what? While we're at it, let's spin up the rotor now. Yeah, we'll use the we'll use the seat inside. Yeah. I should not have done that. <laughs> Drills. Ah. Oh, it's gonna get caught there. Yep. Mm. Please don't explode. Okay. Please, please, please. I beg of you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> All right. Down pistons. that will go real slow. There we go, I hear the machines worrying to life. They added a thing for selective grinding. That's cool. Give me some damn steel plates, please. Please, bro. 
the down pistons a bit faster. I believe that is too fast. Cargo container for the basement. Now we can actually leave this running. Alright, let's get back to working on this. I wonder. Not refilling my oxygen. Oh, yeah, because it's not hooked up. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Alright, so we can just hook it up through here. I'm not sliding as much anymore. Okay, so let's see. I feel like something should go in these. Don't know what though. Yeah, it could stick thrusters in there. Maybe. Probably not though. Actually, I could stick an ore detector and antenna in there. Yeah. Ow. Wait, what? Why am I taking damage now? Help low. Holy shit. Is it the unbuilt ore detector? <laughs> started doing that. That would be very uncool. Alright, so theory. This is hurting me. This is also hurting me, maybe. Oh fuck. Whoop. What? Oh no. It's spreading. The toxic fumes. Nope. Yeah, I just can't stand on top of that now. Maybe. Wait. Oh. It's because this raised the height of the grid. So something about this whole small grid, and I mean everything, the solar panels, this casing here, the ship, something about it is dealing damage to me. And this is, I can't go any lower than this without taking damage. That is very strange. Why is it doing that? I'm not quite sure. Um, all right. Ah, yes. Oh my. That is quite a lot of stone. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow. Alright. We've, uh, we've got resources now. And we'll have resources for days. I need like a, a waste disposal area. For now, I'm just gonna use the basement. But we need like good waste disposal. Yeah, this ain't gonna fill up. We got our balls here. Testicles, nuts even. These fully extended? No, they're still moving. It's going along quite nicely. Whoa. Quite 
freaking out there, buddy. So we have forward. I think we'll just put backwards right in front of it, really. No reason not to. See how I did. Yep, that's all the stone. Hundreds of thousands of rocks. They are ours now. A thousand tons. A million tons of stone. Look at that. A million tons? No, a million kilos of stone. A million kilos. Man! It's a lot of fucking stone. <laughs> We're going through it kind of quick. Which is crazy to me. We're getting so much iron out of that. Very good investment. This whole thing. I'm thinking. Now that this has served its purpose, more or less. I could. You know, I've got that piston as well. I might as well. I might as well squeeze everything I can out of this, right? How much space do we have? Eh, might as well wait a bit. Alright, it's forward. I'm thinking a couple more thrusters in these two directions would be nice. Because we are going to be facing down a lot of the time. So we can just get a bunch of steel plates. Well, add another large atmospheric thruster, though, just in case. I want to do other stuff with this. Hmm. I should build another basic refinery and another assembler. I should just build a big assembler, maybe down in the basement. go. Now we can make everything. Look at that. Okay. Basic assembler. Reset all these. And clear its production queue. Now, this assembler. Make 200 construction components. Uh, say 
50 girders, 50 metal grids. There we go. Now we can add speed modules to this. Ah, yes. <laughs> um, hmm. Gonna have to deal with that. Power is our next thing. There we go. Two speed modules. So much waiting today. Oh, and I'm running out of time for recording this episode, aren't I? Yeah, shoot. Oh, man. I hate to cut this short, but I think I might have to. Mm. Uh, yeah. Alright, we're gonna, we're gonna cut things short. How about that? Because I have other stuff I need to do today. So, thank you guys for watching. This was actually a relatively productive episode uh, compared to last time, which nothing really happened. Well, I mean, things did happen. We tried things, we failed at things, we did a little bit of exploring, got used to our surroundings. That's just kind of how this game starts, you know? And now we're in the stage of the game where things are really starting to pick up pace. So... As for next time, I really don't have any plans, but, I mean, I guess we'll just see what happens. We still have to finish the miner, uh, I just have to do other things today, so, I'm cutting it here. You guys have a good one. I'm gonna have a good one. See you next time.